there, everyone. What's going on? It's Kiara MJ here again, and thank you for tuning in, Mayflower Army. I greatly appreciate it. But before I get started with the video, as always, if you enjoy, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Um, share on social media with your friends, and last but not least, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, just like this one. So, as many of you know, I've relaunched my interview series, and there will be three episodes up that will they'll be uploaded after this video, obviously. But, well, they'll all probably be uploaded at the same time, but this video will be uploaded before. Anyways, so, in the first few episodes I recorded, to me, they went off to a big hit. I really enjoyed them. Um, I was, like I said, for a while, I was waiting on my friend Dana to do the relaunch episode with. But with her schedule being so busy, I just, I, I couldn't wait any longer. I was super excited for this series. So, I had to, like, I had to find, I found another guest, which was Donnie, for my for the first episode, and Kayla for the second, and Shal for the third, and I really enjoyed each of them. Each one was about a different topic, but each one was very interesting to talk about, and each one we had a lot to talk about. And as you saw with them, they vary in length. Shal's was a little over 30 minutes. Donnie's was not, almost an hour and a half. So they each vary. Each, like you said, each video... Each um, episode may vary. But anyways, so the reason I'm talking about that in my interview series, Akira Ari Mei Jan Censored, is because, so I am, I want to do some controversial episodes. Um, I don't just want to do episodes on, like, transgender individuals like myself. I want to do, like I said, I have so many episodes planned, but I'm not going to talk about the episode I have planned. I'm, so, I'm in this video a little bit, I'll talk about, like, some of the topics I'm... I'm looking to cover in some episodes because obviously this um the title of the video is talking about like I'm looking for individuals who are controversial topics and other topics as well. Um, I'm not gonna list like every single to topic in the book on in here. Like if you have an idea for a topic of a video that could be controversial or another idea for a episode of my interview series, get in touch with me and we'll make it happen. So some of the subjects I'm looking to cover. And so, like, when I say I'm looking for individuals, I don't have to know you. You could be a complete stranger to me. Um, we can figure out how to do it over Skype. We could figure out how to do it over um, this any sort of, like, video recording site if you're not in the area. But if you are within probably if, – if you're within, like, a five-hour radius of me, I'll come to you. That may seem like a far drive, but for, if it's going to be for an interesting topic, you bet your ass I'm willing to drive for it a little bit. So, some of the topics I'm looking to cover are abortion, which right off the bat, I know that that could be a very controversial topic, drug addiction, um, and like, yeah, drug addiction, abortion, um, hold on, I'm back, I could not remember the, some of the topics, I have them in my notes on my phone, so I had to go back and look at them, but like, some of the other topics are like, vaccination for kids, because that could, I, that, to me, like, I, I don't really ever think about it that much. Like, I was vaccinated as a kid, so I just think people get their kids vaccinated. But I know it could be a very controversial topic. And um, Donnie mentioned that one to me, so I was like, okay, that could work. So, um, and another one that could be very controversial and could, could get some people mad. And, again, Donnie brought this one to my attention, and it I definitely agree with it. So, over-sexualization of the LGBT community... Um, so, social, um, oh, what was that one called? Hold on again. Again, sorry, they're all, all these are in my notes, so I have to keep going back. But anyways, cultural, um, appropriation, um, po some politics, um, feminism, and any other topic you could think of. And also, like, um, one, so one thing I kind of got, interests me tonight, when, when me and Donnie were out, like, just... We're out and about. I so we were. I was. We were at Dollar Tree, and um, Do I didn't know Dollar Tree sold hair dye, hair color. Sorry, I didn't know Dollar Tree sold hair color, and it gave me an idea, like a hair color, like a Dollar Tree hair color test to see like how well it actually works for being a fucking dollar. So, like, if you're somebody who would be willing to put your hair through that, get a hold of me, and I would. That whether it would be a topic for Akira or MJ Uncensored or whether it would just be for an interesting video. Get in touch with me if you're one of those people, male or female. Preferably, fem preferably someone with a little longer hair, 
probably at least my length or maybe a little longer. A little shorter would probably be okay too, but anyways, so let's get back to some of the topics here. Like I, um, so when it comes to like politics, um, politics is something I don't usually cover. I don't usually talk about. I promised myself for years I wouldn't talk about it on my channel, but, but again, politics right off the bat, that's in this day and age, you can't talk about politics with someone wanting to rip someone's head off without people getting very angry at each other. So that definitely politics would be an interesting one. Um, I don't pay much attention to politics, so if you're somebody who has an interesting view on politics, if you're a politician yourself, future, want to be a future politician, um, have views that differ from mine, because if you know me, Don, I think Donald Trump's a piece of shit. Um... So, yeah, if you're anybody who has any sort of opinion on politics and could have a reasonable and rational, like, conversation about it without chewing someone's head off, mainly my head, get in touch with me about politics. That would, because, like I said, that's an episode, that would be a Kira Major Uncensored. I want it to be very, I want it to be a controversial show. It's, um, like I said, it's, it's really interesting to me. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy Asking some harder questions sometimes. Asking questions that like I'm curious about. And other, I'm sure others are as well. Um, so yeah, about like I said about politics. There's that one. So drug addiction. So many of you have known my opinion on drug addiction. I've shared it many many times, and uh, I haven't always been the kindest to. Um, people who have battled addiction, but I watching the show 13 Reasons Why, this may sound cliche, but the show did open my eyes a little bit. Like I there's a video that will be that's up on my YouTube channel that that'll be up around this video. Like I said, I have probably twenty videos to upload at the moment. Edited and uploaded. Edited and needed be needed to upload it. Yeah. So like I said, this is that's de like I'm um, drug addiction. So I'll go back to that topic. That's what I'm on. So if you're somebody who is currently battling addiction or has battled addiction and you've come out on the other side, let me know. If you're somebody who has known somebody who's battled addiction and overcome it, or if you've known if or if you've lost somebody to addiction, whether it be a family member, a good friend, um anything like that, get in touch with me. If you're um, also only get in touch with me if you're, in, if you're okay with talking about these subjects, like if you're some, one of these people, um, if you're interested in talking about it in a YouTube video and sharing some of your story or sharing like another person's story, or if you're somebody who has a, like an opinion, like different opinions on drug addiction, like if you have somebody who agree, who like drug addiction, like it's still something I'm learning fairly, I'm learning something about, um, apparently it's a mental illness. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I've been very, um, ignorant towards the subject. Um, I'll say, like, I'll be the first to admit I'm ignorant towards the subject. I didn't really care to be educated or educate myself on the subject of drug addiction just because, again, I didn't care enough about it. I thought addicts were scum. It's terrible to say, but it's the truth. But like I said, 13 Reasons Why and some other things lately have changed my mind on that so but again if you're somebody who's okay with talking about the subject of drug addiction whether you um believe it's a mental illness or whether you're somebody who's like a psychologist friend of mine who studied it who has studied it and no and like has their that their like the medical view on it if you're somebody like said who's battled it and overcome it if you know somebody who's sadly not here with us anymore because of it and you want to share their story get in touch with me about that um so next, abortion. And this is a very touchy subject with a lot of people. I am pro-choice to an extent, and by extent I mean, like, something of sexual assault, rape, incest, um, and, like, some other situations as well, like, if you like, use protection and it fails, you use birth control and it fails, or, like, if just, like, 100%, like, you, I don't know, like, there's a few other... Things, but, like, I'm not going to mention them in here. I'll save that for the video of abortion. The Akira Major Uncensored episode. So, 
Okay, so if you're somebody who has a view on abortion, like, if you're, per, like, I'm looking for a couple people for this episode, because that's one episode I'm very interested in. Um, when I say, like, um, opinions, I mean, like, if somebody, I'm looking for somebody who's pro-choice, somebody who's completely against it, and so the other individuals I'm looking for for this episode, if you're somebody who has known someone who's gotten abortion, or if you've gotten one yourself and you're comfortable talking about it, get in touch with me, because... I'm curious to hear, regardless of what the situation was, of, like, why you got an abortion, I'm curious to hear the story behind it if you're comfortable talking about it again. Again, I'm going to state that clearly. Only if you're comfortable talking about it, please reach out to me. If you're not, um, don't. Just because, like, I know, like, not, like okay, I, I shouldn't say don't reach out to me if you haven't, but, um... Like I said, if, you, if you're absolutely comfortable talking about it, reach out to me and we'll get in touch with the video. I'm not going to make you talk about um, stuff about it you don't want to. If you've watched the other episodes of A Carrie, Major Uncensored, once, if we get too deep into a subject, we'll immediately stop talking about like, that part of the subject. But if we're talking about abortion here, I pretty much need to know the full reason behind it. And just, I want to hear the story and the thought process that goes into it. So, again... So the abortion episode, I'm looking for somebody who's pro-choice, somebody who's completely against it, and an individual or two who's gone through it or knows somebody who's gone through it and is okay talking about it. So again, let me know. So that's enough on that topic. And then the other... <laughs> Kayla in the background. But it, and um, So other topics. Um, like I said, the cultural appropriation um, is something new that Donnie has um, brought up to me today, but she made a good point about... Feminism can be a very, can be a controversial topic depending on, just depending on your view on feminism and whatnot. Like, so if you're a feminist or like somebody who's against feminism or somebody who's like in between, get in touch with me. Like again about the politics, um, cultural appropriation. I don't know much about it. I'm going to learn a little more about it. And again, if you're somebody about that topic, um... But like the and the main episode I want to cover, like I'm looking for guests for, is about the abortion episode, um, the politics one, the oversexualization of the LGBT community. Because like, for that one, okay, like that, like people, a lot of people will get really mad at me saying this because I'm part of the LGBT community, but it's very oversexualized. Like if you go to Pride, like it's not just gay people, it's not just people celebrating. It's just it's it's very sexualized and. That's just a fact. There, I don't think there's any other way about it. There. Um. So if you're people who have opinions on that, whether you're in the LB LGBT community, whether you're not, get in touch with me for about the episode. Um. And another one that could be very and about the vaccinations as well. Like if you've had kids and you vaccinated them and you believe it's caused like some problems. Like if your kid has problems and it's caused. If it, you think if you think vaccinations are a cause to it. If you're comfortable talking about that, okay, get in touch with me. If you are somebody who doesn't believe in the vaccinations causing problems, if you're somebody who's, like, on defense, get in touch with me. Um, if you're somebody, like I said, about the politics, um, feminism. So another one I'm going to talk about, and I think this is the last topic I'm going to mention, by, like, actual name, and then, like I said, if you have, an, if you have a topic yourself you want to talk about or you think will make a good episode... Get in touch with me, and I'll make an announcement about it on my channel looking for guests. So, gun control. That has been, a, since, this, a lot, since Sandy Hook back in 2012, and since all the major mass school shootings and just major shootings in general that have happened, like the one in Las Vegas, um, Pulse in Orlando, Sandy Hook, the one that just happened this past, um, I think it was January, February, down in Florida. Um... And all the others that have happened that I haven't mentioned by name. If you so gun control has been a very sensitive topic over the last couple of years. Some people are completely for it. Some people are completely against it. Um, my opinion on it is I'm not going to state it too much here because I'm going to save that more or less for the episode of Akira I made and censored. But like my opinion on it is I don't think people should lose their guns. No, I I'm a hunter. I haven't hunted in a couple of years, but I am a hunter. And I don't 
think people should lose their guns, obviously. I just think there should be tighter laws on how to get them. But again, that's just my opinion. I am looking for people, some people who are interested in talking about gun control, somebody who's completely for it, completely against it, somebody who's, again, on the fence, somebody who's, like, thinks, like, mental health may play a role into how people should get guns and everything else. So, again, only reach out to me for these episodes if you can have a con- conversation about a sensitive topic without chewing someone's head off, mainly mine, because I'll be the one talking to you about the um, topic and whatnot, and I do not want to be recording it with you and get in a heated argument. That's not what I'm looking for for my channel. I'm looking for people who could have civil debates about it and whatnot and talk about this topics um, that people are afraid to talk about. And like I said, a lot of things aren't talked about and whatnot, but... So, yeah, like I said, if you're somebody who's interested in any of these topics, if you've been through any of these situations, or if you know somebody who has, um, I'm going to be posting this on Facebook, and I'm going to be tagging a heck of a lot of you in it. And I expect a lot of you to share this video, because, again, I'm looking for a lot of guests. And I I know some people who might fit this ep- these ep- some, of these, some of these episodes. But I don't necessarily... Some of them I might ask. Some of them I might see if approach me first. Some of them I might, I might just not talk, ask about it at all. But if you're an individual who thinks I'm referring to them, and I know you, you're probably right. But I'm obviously I'm clearly not going to mention you by name. And if you if you want me to reach out to you, but I don't, or if you want to reach out to me but are afraid to, the reason I don't reach out to you is because like I don't know if you're going to be comfortable talking about these subjects, and I don't want to make you feel like you have to. I don't want to put you on a spot and make you feel uncomfortable. But if you're afraid to reach out to me, just reach out to me and we'll talk about it and everything like that. So, again, I'm looking for some guests for some controversial topics, like the ones I've mentioned, and any other topics that you think would fit the fit this, um, fit an episode of Akira Maj Uncensored. And again, I made a video before, and I'll, just, I'll mention it in this one real quick. If you're somebody who has any sort of story, talent, f- big future goals, let me know. We will get together. We can talk about an episode. And if you think it'll fit you, by all means, we will get you an episode. I will get you. I don't know why I said we, but I'll get you an episode. Because again, I'm, well, I want to sh- showcase people on my channel now, not just myself. I want other uh, help others grow and along with myself. So... Alrighty, guys, again, I'll say this one last time. If you know any guests or if you are a guest or would be interested, please get in touch with me. Only if you could be civil and everything. So, alrighty, guys, I will see you in the next video. And I hope to be hearing from quite a few of you. Bye, guys.